In this problem, you are again trying to find how far Billy will move along the horizontal after sledding down a hill. This problem is a little bit harder because Billy will encounter friction both on the hill and on the horizontal. So the way you want to attack this problem is to start out by finding the total mechanical energy that Billy has at the beginning. So using the triangle of the hill, you find the height of Billy above the level ground. You then find his potential energy due to gravity at this point. Then you want to analyze Billy on the hill. So when he's on the hill, you want to draw the object, draw gravity going straight down, draw the force normal, draw the force friction. Again, you do this just like we did objects on an inclined plane. You take the force of gravity and you use it to find the force of gravity in the y direction. That will equal the force normal between Billy and the hill. You then use that force normal to find the force of friction between Billy and the hill. Finally, you find the work done by friction as Billy moves along the hill and you do that by taking the friction that you just found and multiplying it by the length of the hill. This work done by friction will take away mechanical energy from our system. When Billy gets to the bottom of the hill, the energy that remains will be his potential energy gravity he started with minus the work that was done on the hill. As Billy continues to slide along the hill, he will continue to lose energy due to friction. So the energy that remains at the bottom of the hill should get plugged in as work. You should find the new force of friction for the level portion of the um, ground. Even though the coefficient of friction is the same in both parts, since he is no longer on an incline, you would find friction using his entire force gravity as the force normal. You then solve for the distance that he travels. So again, this work is his potential energy gravity that he starts with minus the work that was done on the hill. This is the force of friction for the level portion of the ground. And you're solving for this delta x.